Welcome back to Stay In and Stay Safe. I think it's number 10, and this is how to paint fire on request from Sonia. Thanks for your comment. Um, so fire, let's look at it. This is the emoji, and that's pretty much how you do fire. It's white, yellow, orange, red. But let's look at some other artwork um, done by other people, because fire looks different in daylight, nighttime. Uh, oh, just fire is really hard to do. Water's a lot easier. Look at this painting. That fire is very orange. This is Turner's fire. That's just very orange. This, this is very yellow, isn't it? This is um, looks like an acrylic painting. This is uh, someone. These are all the images I found on the internet when I googled fire. This is watercolor. You see, the fire is just white. Let's look at real fire. Look, look how intricate fire is. How difficult it is to paint. But you can see that the general, you know, white, yellow, red. You know, that's. Uh, kind of how it works. This is a book cover I did recently for someone and you can see that's how I paint fire. So I thought I'd try and copy this to show you how I did the fire on this book cover. So um, here I go. I've already drawn the line just really quickly. It's a very small canvas. It's only 20 by 25 um, centimeters. Yeah. So I'm starting off with white on this um, little canvas here. This is oil paint I'm using. But it's the same for acrylic. If you're using acrylic or oil paint, it's the same thing. And I'm using lemon yellow around that white. Um, kind of blending in slightly, um, but going up here. It's kind of like hair blowing in the wind. If you imagine fire being like hair blowing in the wind, that's kind of the, the pattern it makes. Um, it's very organic and that's what makes it difficult because there is no uh, you know, there's uh, no perfect way of saying this is this is how you paint fire. And fire is, you know, and also one single flame like a candle would be just very different from painting like a furnace. So fire is 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 very hard to do. Um, so now I'm adding um, a cadmium yellow and also a little bit of cadmium red, um, just to start making that you know so you go from light to dark with fire so you start with the white and then you go even darker around the outside um so this is how i do it anyway and it's all organic is you have to almost close your eyes and paint it's it but it comes from um, it's coming from that mouth of the lion so if you know where the fire is coming from like if it's a, a pit or whatever or a um, fireplace you know where it's coming from so the white would be at the very bottom and then it would get more red and uh, warmer as it goes outwards. So this is now, um, I'm adding a bit of crimson as well now. Um, and in that crimson, I've got a bit of the cadmium red as well. And I'm sort of blending it in. This is what you can do with oil paint because it stays wet so you can kind of keep mixing it in. It's a little bit more difficult with, with acrylic. Here I'm using a clean brush, a fan brush, just to blend these areas in a little bit, cover the bit of the canvas, you know, I've got a lot of. I just want to soften it slightly, so I'm using this brush. And you can do this with acrylics because you can keep it all wet with a spray, you know, like a like a wet spray, and you can blend it in as well, the same way. I think now I start adding. Oh no, what am I doing? Adding a bit of white, yellow. I'm adding more yellow. Okay. Here I'm trying to take away some of the paint. Sometimes you can actually use a bit of the the white spirit to take some of the oil paint away. Now I'm adding white again going back to, to sort of making it more flame like flames have little flickers as well you'll notice they don't always they, they, it's not like a tree where everything's attached to the roots with fire it's kind of flickers you get little flickers and sparks coming out so um oh yeah a big blob there this is um burnt size burnt umber red crimson and black um for me fire always looks good with a darker background um because it really stands out but if you're doing fire in, in a daylight, it's, it's a lot harder um, to do. So I'm coming towards the end of this video because I just wanted to show you the fire, basically, and how I do fire. Um, so I'm just filling in all this with basically black, burnt umber, and crimson. And sort of, you know, just going around and sort of cropping it, really. Just cropping the shape of it out a little bit more. But um, that's basically how I do fire. Uh, I mean, you can copy that with acrylics and watercolors or whatever um, it's the same kind of method really but um, yeah I'll skip to the end now I'll just show you. oh yeah thanks for all the likes and all that and shares by the way um, and thank you for watching I hope you share this video as well that'd be great so that's the finished product when I finished doing the lion's face but you can see how I've done the fire there 
Um, thanks for watching. I hope that helped with fire. Let me know if that helped at all. All right, stay in, stay safe. God bless. See you tomorrow.